you guys know what today is? It's Thursday, but it's also another no recoil setup video thing. You guys keep leaving hundreds and hundreds of these no recoil setups. And I have to sift through so, so many of them to find ones that are not just DCL freaking 223 Remington setups. I'm glad you guys are commenting and stuff, but I really don't want to do this because it's kind of cheating. But I have gotten a nice handful of just ones that I think may work, but also may not. So we'll see. So we'll start off pretty simple here. We've got a guy who says that the AKU-12 with reflex compensator, Hera, Hera, I don't know how to say it, HQR grip, tri-laser and armor piercing is going to be good. So yeah, we're ready to go then. I mean, it looks cool, though. I'm not going to lie. Let me just turn my volume down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I almost deafened myself. Hmm. Okay. I see. Hmm. I think that this bounces a little too much. I feel like you could probably do better if you used a better grip. I see what you're going for, though, with all the freaking lasers on this thing. I. What? Oh, he fell. Okay. <laughs> I thought he just disappeared. But no, I feel like there's a little bit too much bouncing on this. You could you could improve this a little bit. I'll give you half a point. So I think that I've done the M4A1 before. I could be wrong. But this guy says that this is what he personally uses. He says M4A1, PSO scope, ARS suppressor, vertical grip, blue laser, and default ammo. I have my doubts. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, hold up. This Chad may be onto something here. Using a freaking scope on the M4A1. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, credit where it's due, this isn't terrible. I mean, it's it's visibly more recoil than the other, but granted, you are using a freaking scope. I hear somebody below me. Bye. No, I mean, you can hit your shots with this, but like... I don't feel like I could classify this as no recoil. Half a point for you, my good sir. Alright, so I've done setups before where I've misread something, but here, I know I'm not reading this wrong. His no recoil setup is AK with VCOG, fold grip, and R2 suppressor. And that's it, that's all that he said here. No other, no ammo type. So, somehow he says this is gonna have no recoil. I doubt this. What? What? How? How are you gonna tell me that this has no recoil? Oh, jeez, that nearly gave me a heart attack. How? How dare you? Even tap firing. You have to tap fire so slow in order to get this to, like... There's three of them right there. Okay. Okay, no. I'm determined to finish this. I, I, wanna, I wanna see what this man... No! No, you're wrong! <laughs> You're wrong. He's right there. And I... Okay. I've gone through almost all my ammo. And I've gotten one kill. And I'm dead. How dare you? <laughs> Alright, so this guy says here, UMP45, which is a gun I barely used, with reflex compensator, stubby grip, red laser, and special ammo. Okay, that is really low recoil. I know this is mostly just to determine if it has no recoil, but... What's the point in using it if you can't kill anybody with it? Okay. It's time to kill is a little bit low, it feels. Yeah, let's go. Okay, wrong gun there. <laughs> Let me just reload this bad boy here. Yeah, this isn't too bad. You have earned a point. A no recoil point. I don't know. This guy, I'm not, I don't think I'm reading this wrong. MP5 plus vertical grip, EOTech, and laser is no recoil. He does not have a barrel attachment. And he also didn't use commas, so since he said plus, I'm putting plus P on. No barrel attachment. Okay. He didn't specify which EOTech either. Hmm. Maybe. We will see. <gasps> We're good. <gasps> oh, there's a bunch of them down there. Oh, here we go. Now for the real test. Okay, this isn't bad. Yeah, even at a range, this is okay. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be, like, flying side to side. Oh my gosh, this isn't bad. 
I don't really use the MP5 too much, but that's not bad. Credit where it's due, man. So this one, I doubt. I, I doubt this one, but I I'm willing to try it. This guy says RPK with reflex, muzzle break, stubby grip, blue laser, and hollow point. Mm, I'm seeing some recoil, my man. I mean, don't get me wrong, this thing does a ton of damage. It's not that, it's it's that, it's just, like, it just goes everywhere. There's a bunch of them above me, holy crap. Nah, I'm sorry, man, I'm not feeling it. This thing does output a crap ton of damage, and I feel like if you know how to use this gun, it can be super, super good. But this particular setup, it just has a little bit too much recoil. So this guy says, no recoil, Honey Badger setup. Halibut, Skeleton Grip, no stock, and reflex. I feel like this guy's just memeing on me. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty cool, though. Okay. All right. I think I've seen all that I need to see. Okay, so this is probably a little bit of a stranger one, just because of the potato grip. He says, Asval with mini side potato grip, blue laser, and no ammo. And this is interesting because I don't feel like the potato grip has a use. I'm not gonna lie. So it's supposed to basically be like angled grip with a flashlight, basically. Okay. 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 So I've done a video before on the SR3M a very long time ago, which is a gun that I really, after that video, just didn't really use. I kind of got bored of it. But it is a point-and-click adventure with that gun, and the Asval is just an SR3M, but with a long suppressor on the end. Now, the issue I have with this gun is the lack of ammo. But the lack of ammo does not change the fact that the Asval is a bit of a laser pointer. No pun intended. This is just pretty swag, not gonna lie. Though, I wouldn't mind using the 30-run magazine on this. Look at that. The damage is pretty okay as well. So, you know, there's that too. This is pretty nice. So our final setup here that this guy recommends us use is the knife. Now this one, I have my doubts about. There might be quite a bit of recoil. I don't know. But I'll use on this special occasion of the no recoil knife, my bugged Karambit. <laughs> now this was actually the first legendary I ever unboxed. And at some point over the years of me playing Phantom Forces, it's bugged. It's considered a purple now. It says it's uncommon, and there's no icon for it. And I also unboxed this one the other day, which is also bugged. But you know what? I'm happy with this, honestly. I'm, I'm glad that I have something that's bugged like this. It's a pretty bad melee, and it's really only selling point is the fact that it looks cool. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There we go. Yo. Ugh. Let's go. So the thing that's not great about this is, if I remember correctly, I'll probably have to check after this, but the Karambit's supposed to have only like a one stud hit radius. So whereas things like the Fire Axe, you can hit from like, you know, God knows how many studs away. I'm sneaking up on this man, he don't know nothing. You know, the Karambit, you have to be right on top of people to be able to do any damage with it. That being said though, I think that this guy might be right. I'm not seeing much, if any, recoil. You know, it's much easier to main a melee than I thought it was. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have yet to die since I used this. That's a teammate. Hi. Oh, dang, he had the bigger melee, okay. <laughs> 95 assists though, I'll take it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and maybe you found a setup in this video actually, if anything. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you comment down below. Though I will say, please, I do not wanna use any DCL 120 setups. I'm iffy on the 223 Remington setups, but we'll see. And I wanna do unique stuff that I'm unsure of. Or just stuff that I haven't used before and I'm curious to see. So with that, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, stay safe. Yo, this guy lagging. Yo, he lagging.